Boulder. All right, I'm going out. So we are, we are definitely, <laughs> this is the essence of Warframe, which is every now and then we reinvent some aspect of it. And this is, Plains of Eidolon is really a big expression of that kind of dissatisfaction with the status quo. So here we are. Um, okay, fantastic. In the Plains. So this is a, if you guys want to talk a little bit about, I think people are pretty familiar at this point with uh, this particular spot. So Cetus, the Plains of Eidolon. What is this colony and how you as a player are going to contribute to their success? So I'm approaching this now. I haven't taken a job. I'm actually just going out to play and I'm just going to play. So you guys can tell can me. You, can you just kind of like soak it in for a second though? Soak it in. Like sometimes you're kind of all business. You mean soak yeah, it in with like blood? Soak it with blood. Oh, 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 oh. Unless you see a bird. He bailed out. He bailed out. He knew my sniper. flew into the sun. Yeah. <laughs> Icarus, the Grenier. That's it's funny. a Grenier legend. So this is, uh, uh, what did we say this was? Uh, about nine square kilometers of landscape for you to explore. There are hidden caves. There are Grenier camps. There's a discovery system when you find a location, an important location for the first time. It's unlocked in your map permanently. Uh, you'll be able to ask uh, the, the denizens of Cetus to get markers that you can go and permanently place locations, a favorite fishing spot or a favorite uh, meeting spot for your squad members out here. Uh, you know, the density of foliage and objects, we've never attempted this in Warframe before. This version of Warframe is going to be the fastest running version of Warframe uh, that we've ever created. The most optimization work has gone into this update uh, that affects not only the planes of Eidolon, but the whole thing. We have hierarchical LEDs, we have imposter systems, we have terrain LEDs. There's so much work that the artists and the programmers have put into rendering a kind of a, a vastly larger game sp gameplay space. And we want you to spend a ton of time in here from day to night. And that's why there's a real time uh, day night cycle in here as well. And, if so, you're, and, and so you're gonna mine? I am. So okay. you guys saw fishing at Tenocon. No, no. Another game that's been added and kind of quickly sort of changed yesterday. So I'm not the best at it. So oh. be prepared to laugh at me <laughs> because my fish at Tenocon one and done was an outlier. This is so the mining system is real and it's, yep. it is hilarious. It is probably the most, oh, just, just, it's gonna be. So the mining system, there's a new class of arcanes that we're introducing with Plains of Eidolon. Uh, and so, in Warframe, you're used to the type of resources that you, you either touch or you smash or you open a, a crate for. Oh, that's actually oh. that's actually a really hard one. Oh my <laughs> god, that's the hardest one I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> but there is a new form of arcane systems that work with some of the new combat Tenno aspects that we are adding with Planes of Eidolon for the Night Hunt. And some of those you will need. Uh, I think we're right now we're calling them Eidolon gems, but. Uh, again, you can trade for them if you're not into fishing or you're, or you're more into fishing than you are into, into mining. You'll be able to... Oh, you might have to take care of some yeah. right here. Uh, there's more interesting kind of game play systems for this kind of higher end resource extraction system. So the way the game works is you have to remember the pattern and trace it. Because once you start shooting, the pattern goes away. This is really hard. This one is really hard. This, oh. one, this one's ridiculously hard. But, it, you know... Did I do it? You might have. 86 yeah, nailed it. Okay. Yeah. Keep, keep, keep cutting, keep cutting. Totally, you got it. Yeah. There you go. No worries, I got it. Common or A. So you can see that I extracted it and sure, I left sure. my mark on the world. Yeah. Yeah. So I did it. Yeah. Okay, so I got one. So I can also see through my scanner on the mini map, there's five more resources in range. So if I wanted to get oh, some okay. of these gems and get, you know, try and increase my skills, which is a fruitless endeavor for me, I'd have to find them here and carve them out. So. Looking. Right. Which you can use, the, the mining tool has basically a, a, a codex scanner kind of exactly. tool to locate them. So throughout the uh, demo, you're probably going to see me go off and try and do my hand some of those because I'm trying to get a lot better at it and currently. That I'm, is basically the second one you've ever done, isn't yeah. it? And that's the hardest one I've ever seen. Yeah. Usually they're just kind of like a circle. Yeah. No. So... <laughs> well, it's, did it already. That's I good. did it though. Yeah. Like yeah. it's not like it's no, that was great. possible. Yeah, so. Fantastic. Yeah, it's not. It's not meant to be that hard. Yes. Right now, I'm using a controller. Yep. Absolutely. It's and I'm gonna. This is how we, to, how we slow. Controller, controller how we slow down, Rebecca. Oh, this is interesting. Oh. Sniper rifles are useful. Yay. Oh, this. this poor guy. Where'd he go? <laughs> is he over here? Shot <laughs> over here. Oh. <laughs> the head. Right in the head. So, oh, okay. 
<laughs> oh! Sniper battle. Get your aim glide going. Death. So I'm having... Oh! Oh! Shiny oh, birds! Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, no, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. You can't do it? It's hard. <laughs> they move fast. Oh. Someone increased the speed of them to... Yeah, that's true. They were a little bit easy. They wanted... I want to put stats on how many birds died. <laughs> so this is, a, this is another different color mining area. So seeing this, I can go in. Aha! Mm -hmm. Okay. Really close. Ooh. Oh, God! Oh, jeez. Oh. No, no mining for don't, you. Don't do it while there's combat. I know. Yeah. So I can't hear the music right now, but I would know that combat. Oh god! So this is this is bad for me because once those flares go off, yep. oh, I'm in mining mode. Um, reinforcements come. So right now I'm looking to just survive this encounter. Yeah. With Grenier's Grenier have added things to their arsenal to call in more more people and uh, air support if required. So oh, when you speak see the of? different tire, uh, different colored flares go up, you will actually be able to understand what's about to happen and what's, what's coming, so you can kind of prepare. Okay. So I have my silence on, which is probably making George really upset, so I'll stop using Banshee's silence because <laughs> I just realized as a gameplay, it's great, but in yeah. demo mode, you guys can't hear what I'm doing, so I'll, no. I'll stop using that, as Dean reminds me. Okay, get out of here. But. Here we go. Oh, God. Rollers. So rollers haven't become any less of... Oh, so right now you'll see um, what I was talking about with the alerts. So there is a... The Lotus probably came in and said, hey, if you go to the waypoint, you can activate this dynamic mission, which mm -hmm. is a liberation mission, which expires in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So... And you can destroy that dropship. I think people were asking if oh, yes. you could have, and you definitely can. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Some... some yeah. It's so pretty fun to try and kill them before yeah. they land. Yeah. So because it's a bit far away, I am going to call my arc wing down just to... Uh, Get, her. Get on over there. So the arc wing movement has been reworked for atmospheric flight. Uh, and you're out of it now. Sorry, so we'll, I'll go back in. We'll, we'll, we'll show that uh, maybe later. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Yep. No problem, no problem. You focus on the mission. I like it. Yeah, I'm... Oh. Don't you, die, Rebecca. Are you in God mode? No, I'm not in God mode. Yes, I'm in God mode. No, you're not. I don't, not. I don't know. Yeah. Are you? Seriously? Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not sure. Oh, that was a nice shot. That you capture the location. Do not let them retake it. So this is a dynamic mission yeah. type. There's a low enemy presence. Oh, something is blasting into... Okay. Oh, God. Okay. So that's reinforcements. Yeah, kill that roller before you... That roller is going to mess you He's up. He's messing up your life. You almost got it. Hold on. That roller is nice. messing Okay, they're coming in, though. Oh god! Oh, the, nice. the orbital pods. Are you kidding? Oh. Orbital pods mean serious air coming down. Okay, orbital pods. Thank you, Syndicate. You need a friend. I need a friend. If this was a co-op game, I would have <laughs> someone helping me. Okay, mid enemy presence. That's all right. I haven't used my alt yet, and I don't know if I will. Oh god. Oh. So maybe I'll go, I'll go to the air. So I have people commenting about the Grenier level. That as you go deeper into the planes, the, the Grenier level up. So if you want a harder challenge, and you want harder harder things to do, go deeper into the planes to get harder. harder I don't things. have my combat arc wing. This was a mistake. It's still summoned though, isn't it? Yeah, but... Oh, oh my god. Good. Thank you, Syndicate Brock. If I had silence on, that guy's having a bad day. You know, what's really interesting is just seeing you use all of those Warframe powers that we've had for quite a while, but in this kind of crazy context. What'd you do? You, like, you're maybe 100 meters from the gate, and there's all of this, there's a small camp, there's all this reinforcements. Oh, God. Yeah. There's so much to do here, and it feels so different when you're in the context of a very, you know, much more open landscape. It just feels so fresh. Yeah, it, it honestly is. Like, I'm kind of addicted to it. Right now, the spawns are quite... Oh, high enemy presence. Oh boy. Yeah, this is, this is a lot of ships coming in. Yep. There's a, there's so currently, this is balanced for <laughs> four, pla four players. <laughs> for you know, not. Playing solo right no. now, we haven't no. pared down the, the enemy counts. So obviously, there's a lot yeah, of stuff going on. Tom's watching this and drinking his beer. <laughs> no, don't worry, <laughs> He's Tom. Laughing. He's laughing at you. Honestly, so here for me as a Warframe player for a long time, yep. I just am in a state of total joy when it's like I can go explore the planes and I can choose to and I, I chose to do this liberation mission Lotus came on and she was like hey if you want to go do this go to the waypoint and I'm like I think I will do that yeah. 
and here we are. It's it's hard yeah. because you know. Thirty seconds left, I think. Thirty-seven seconds left. Exactly. So. Oh, come on. Another ship? Oh, God. This is going to be the last one. You can do it. Come on, come on. I can do it. Come on, more damage, more damage. Oh, more, dots, more, more dots, more dots. More dots. <laughs> more dots. All right. I feel like that effect needs to be updated. I know. It shouldn't be metal ship on Earth. All right, so we did it. So I did the alert. Oh, clear remaining enemies. Lotus, come on. How hard you, She's demanding. How hard are you going to make me work, girl? I have it on really low sensitivity, so that is... I think you're doing a great job. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, yes. oh. Get out of here, bad baddies. Okay, so now now it's serious. I've cleared enough enemies that I have the, the markers. That's how you know. Get it, get it. He's playing, he's tangoing with me. All right, this is the last enemy. Mm -hmm. Hiding in the bush. And his death will be. All right, so I did it. That's the last of them. This location is ours now. So I got, I did a little alert, placeholder reward. But, uh, yeah. So, I shouldn't call those alerts, by the way. But anyway. No. No. <laughs> no. We need some naming. Yes, those Grenier do have different sounds. Those are, uh, are we calling those the Tusk Grenier's? Yeah. Grenier? <laughs> so the interesting thing about that as well is uh, she did the alert, which we're going to rename, but she also got a reward. And on that reward, we actually saved off to her loadout all her progress. And yep. So if she had to... Yep. Oh, that mining, was the, that was the point where you, rewards, see, see. you know, her, so, her. So the mining that she did do got saved off. Yep. Yep. Great. Oh, this is really good. Yeah. So yeah. right so now we're looking out into the. It's yeah. beautiful. Oh my God. So the new Warframe or Arcwing controls? Yes. So the new Arcwing controls, you're basically, uh, you're always oriented to the, oh to the ground. So you're mm -hmm. not, um, well, if you're pressing forward, you're not going towards your aim. You're just going forward and backward and left and right. And you have to actually use the up and down. Uh, keys to, to hover and lower, uh, unless you're in the sprint. And when you're in the sprint, then you get it back into the six degrees of freedom, and you can fly and invert. Okay. And then we reorient you when you start aiming and shooting back to the planes. Makes it really, really easy to engage enemies on the ground. Yeah. Uh, it kind of feels like being on a gunner in a helicopter. Yes. Yeah. You know, so you're not, you're not where you're where you're looking. You're not smacking the hills anymore. Yeah. 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 So, awesome. yeah. so here we are. We're at this coastal base, which is another area. There could have been one of these uh, dynamic missions that spawned here, uh, but you can see again the object density, uh, the dynamic awesome. systems going at going at play. We're now maybe you know maybe a half a kilometer away from that beginning uh, from the gate of Cetus. Oh God, I do not uh, want him calling it. Yes, all right. <laughs> oh. So if it did get a little too heated for me, I would have been sad, but I got the drone before it called in reinforcements, which was... I see people talking about uh, bleed -out timers. It's going to remain the same, so stay together. If, if you right. decide to break off from your squad and go off and do the, a thing and you get down, well, the timer's the same. So your squad better save you or you're going to expect to be Exactly. Yep. And one thing that um, I don't think we've shown yet, and it is a little bit of work in progress, so just bear with me as I get there, but the... We have caves. Oh, there's caves. Oh, man. So as you're exploring the plains of Eidolon, you might find secret little entrances. Bear with this one, because I think it's still coming together. But, um, and this is this type of area where a lot of these are spawning. So I'm not sure if that's intentional, that we're going to have mining r r be underground. Mine, well, the, the, the mining kind of works. Uh, it, it finds the rock material. And spawns things. Ah. So if you're in a cave, yeah. there's a lot of rock so material. So sort of naturally affording. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, affording that. So. 
Gotcha. So maybe a little bit safer. You won't get smacked by rollers the whole time. So but if Brandon's watching, I think this looks a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nerf it, Brendan. Hey, Brendan. So Lotus is giving me another random alert just in the time I was waiting. I'm going to do a dev hack here because you guys have seen a lot of day, and I think we want to see. Gonna hack them I'm going to hack us in tonight. And so these caves haven't been. Uh, haven't gotten a, a lighting pass yet no. and a final pass uh, on art yet, so just keep that in mind. Uh, that's all coming very quickly, very soon. But yes, so now that I've hacked, oh dear. So I've hacked it to be night and there is something glowing in the distance there. Quite so. Oh God, sure do. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so there it is, boys and girls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. So these are kind of, you know, these these islands are kind of trying to uh, rebuild themselves. So they're really not in this, you know, in a traditional Warframe enemy where they're out to kill you right off the bat. Yeah, I think like kind of a conceptual idea for them. They're kind of left over from the old war. Yeah. What happened here, and they got severely damaged during that war. And I think you'll always see a design uh, in the design. It'll speak to the evidence of how they were damaged in that. So this guy, you'll notice, he has a tree for arm. Uh, he lost his arm in the war, and that's yeah. kind of making his the energy that kind of gives him life is now kind of out of control. And oh god. He's a little confused as a result, so he kind of wanders around looking for his long lost arm. <laughs> Side Absolutely, yeah. and, and so I okay. uh, don't know how much we're going to show of this, but this is kind of... I can't you, do anything. If you've been playing Warframe for years, this is really a love letter to you. This is a very different gameplay. Uh, there's going to be, it feels a bit like a Monster Hunter kind of vibe, mm -hmm. uh, but in with a Warframe take on it. Have you done any damage to me? No, and I can't. And this is why the focus rework launching with Planes of Eidolon is so important. And we're going to show you a little bit of what that means for you and your operator. But I'm going to flee because I know there's nothing I can do right now. Yes, they are. Right, so he's got these extra kind of squares at the back. Oh, God. So I'm getting just destroyed right now. I'm trying to... I've counted six deaths so far. <laughs> yeah? That your health is re oh, there's no one. All right, so... Oh, that she wouldn't die yeah. if she wasn't uh, normal right now? No. So I got this one, and then there's sort of their Oro, I guess you could say, quote unquote. But I know that I can't. There's no one. And so what's really, what I really love about this enemy is that initially, because oh, it doesn't Oh, those really are going to get destroyed! <laughs> oh, kill him. Oh, he's going for me! No, 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 no. Look up. A lot of his, uh, a lot of his attacks are not necessarily... Yes. Really? <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> it is time for Doom. <laughs> a lot of his attacks are not necessarily directed at a single target. He's very AoE and he's very reactive to, to players, so mm -hmm. you won't see him shooting his giant gun at a single target. It's more of a, like, get away from me, I'm so big. I don't need to bother with you, you're like a fly. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of like swatting at you while he's trying to accomplish what his goal is. Mm -hmm. right. Oh so. my god. Yep. Get me out of here. Send me back home to Cetus, please. <laughs> you're just, that's it, you're running? Well. Yeah. A lot of people want to see what the M map looks like as well. The which? The, uh, the bigger mini map. Well, I, all right. You ready? That's how I go by. Will well, that work? It's huge. Yeah. Oh, here we so. go. Good lord, it's Whoa. huge. Yeah, so. Again, we talked about this earlier, this, no. this ability to mark this up and make this useful for you. So you'll uh, discover the Grenier camps and the Grenier caves, and that will uh, be permanently saved to that mini-map so you can see them for future reference. No. <laughs> it's a big one. That was insane. Yeah, no. and I can't damage him, so we're going to... Oh, it's already 304. We're going to start our AMA after, but I'm going to show you guys no. something else. And so if you can, if you can survive out here, oh. you don't need to go back to Cetus. You can just hang out. You can play the, the, the Grenier actually do uh, air drops for uh, reinforcements. So there's two ways for you to get other ammo. Yeah, to sneak some, yeah, to sneak some <laughs> yeah. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and show the focus. So there I'll is this, do you want to show the, seek, the area, sort of the hidden aspect of Cetus where you can become an operator warrior, or do you want me to just show you the end result of that? No, I think it's I think it's fair to show it. This Spoilers. This part feels so Breath of the Wild that it really makes me feel happy, but yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Just kind of look around. Just look around before you get, you know, like look at the objects that he's offering and stuff. Like get close. Get close. Yeah. 
Yep. This looks sentient, well, Steve. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The armor, let's like, check, out, check out his wares on the other side there. What's it got? Cool stuff like that. What's over that? What's on the other side? Oh, it's yeah. so Breath of the Wild oh. that I'm in heaven. <laughs> exactly. It's breath, it, we didn't really intend that, but nope. that's how it ended up. Uh, so he, cool. I'm not going to talk to him just because he's your idol on Hunter. Oh, right. Well, he isn't the idol. You're the idol on Hunter. So this is kind of, you know, without going too deep into it, this is, we have the Ostrons themselves, which have, are, are kind of like a faction, again, with no negative standing, but you kind of earn their respect and help, help them out. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they will offer you cooler and cooler and more interesting stuff. Uh, this is another one, which is uh, called the Quills. And if, if you're awakened in Warframe and you know about, about the, the dream, uh, then this will be very interesting for you, and that's kind of where your hunt of the Eidolon begins. Yeah, so I have, um, I can show you it out in the plains real quick, and then we'll uh, end the stream but with the prize, because oh, okay. yeah, we great. still have a Hydroid Prime access, but I'm just going to show you my operator, who oh. has graduated to this. And let's, uh, let's take a look. Here I have. Oh. Oh, and you've customized it. Too. Oh yes. Oh, it's per you had to do the purple. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. So here I am. So this is the beginning of combat operator. Mm -hmm. So this is an operator with uh, custom armor uh, that you can apply ar arcanes to. So currently we're Absolutely. deciding on which armor pieces actually can have arcanes. Uh, we're retroactively going back and giving the old operator customizations, mm -hmm. the suits and, and helmets you could oh, wear, uh, operators or arcane slots, so that you, if you like an old look that you've customized your operator with, you can keep it and just apply an arcane to deal with the kind of the squishiness of your operator. So there'll be new specific arcanes you can craft from the Island Hunter yep. to, um, to uh, work on your operator. This is, yeah, this is huge. You'll be, you know, you'll be making your own arcanes you will be able to customize your operator quite heavily for combat. Yes. Okay. Hell yeah. Through focus. Yes. Focus and arcanes and, arcanes. and the Eidolon Hunter. All of these things combined will basically Make you combine to the ultimate Eidolon Hunter. To hopefully take down the Eidolon. David and Goliath. Which, and as and, and again, if I had brought my operator out, it could have been a tandem affair, but I didn't want to spoil the combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But, you know, do you want to kill the Eidolon or do you show mercy? I don't know.